It's amazing to think we're now over eight months into our 12 month journey. We've seen some amazing scenery, beaches, bays, all along our trip. I must say Rusty's got to dip his paws in some places other dogs would definitely envy. But now Rusty was ready to chill out and just chew on his bone. So we set up camp at Tin Can Bay Tourist Park in Queensland. What a great park it was. Really well looked after amenities and camp kitchen with a stylish, fully equipped laundry. The pool area was immaculate with sparkling clear water. Someone wasn't too impressed that he couldn't go in though. The park itself is located close to the water and only a short walk to town, which is what Rusty and I did most days, soaking up those Tin Can Bay views. Tin Can Bay is also very popular for boaties. It's got a great ramp and awesome fishing locations apparently. Of course, there's one place in Tin Can Bay that you can't fish. The dolphin centre is really popular. There you can hand feed these amazing creatures. They'll often get up to 300 people apparently at one time, visiting from far and wide. The dolphin feeding has been going since the early 1950s here at Tin Can Bay. A dolphin came in here injured and the people of Tin Can Bay cared for him for quite a while and when he was well enough he went back out, joined the community uh, in the Southern Sandy Straits and um, they didn't think they would see him again but he did, he returned and he brought some of the community with him and he became known as Scar to the people of Tin Can Bay. Oh, People are elated at being up quite close and personal and being able to feed the dolphins, you know. Uh, the public are really good, they follow the instructions that are set down. These dolphins are not reliant on us in any way, shape or form. Uh, each dolphin is fed up to three kilos of little bait fish, silver biddies, each day. They will go out in the wild and eat up to 15 kilos of fish and crustaceans, you know. So but it's a learned behaviour that they do come in here. The whole program is run by the volunteers and um, we are here for the protection of the dolphins, for the safekeeping. We run under the auspices of the Environmental Heritage Protection Agency. They've set down a platform and guidelines for us to work with. We sort of work hand in hand with them. And um, without that, we wouldn't be able to showcase these uh, rare and vulnerable dolphins to the public. They even gave me a chance to feed them. Very cool experience and I definitely recommend it. Well that's it for two strays in Tin Can Bay. We'll keep heading south now and hope to share more locations with you soon. Cheers and thanks for watching.